Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanna share a full demonstration on how to hide the grids on your lace wigs. I was scrolling through my comment section underneath some of my hair tutorials and I noticed a lot of people complain mostly about the grids showing on lace wigs and also the wig cap separation. Now, if you don't know what the grids are, they're basically the lace that shows through um, at the parting when you go to part your wig. I have so many tutorials sharing with you different techniques on how how I hide that I will link some of them in the description box if you're new to my channel make sure to you subscribe that way you won't miss my upcoming tutorials if you're not new thank you so much for tuning back in for today's video you probably have already seen most of my tutorials on how to make your wig look more realistic so I'm going to be using this wig as a demonstration I will put information about this wig in the description box and I also will share all of details about this particular wig before I get into sharing with you guys today's technique I want to be clear that I know a lot of you want the most realistic looking wig that you can possibly get um, but honestly when it comes to lace wigs I have tried everything bleaching knots concealer after years of experience with these wigs you're only going to get it to look as natural as it's going to be you can't expect it to look like a scalp because it's not a scalp you can't expect it to be more than what it is unless you're paying big Beyonce bucks for your wigs expect a little bit of flaws here and there but today's video is going to share with you guys a really really quick easy technique that I like to use that will minimize the appearance of those grids and also the separation from the wig cap underneath your wig and all of that is going to be demonstrated on this wig here let's jump right into it so let's take a look at how a wig looks when you first get it. This is what people mean when they say the lace look gritty and not natural like a scalp. This is what we're going to cover up and hide today. So as you can see when the wig is applied you can still see the lace and it does not look natural at all. You can even see the separation from the wig cap. So I'm going to show you how to turn it into this right now. So the knots on this particular wig has already been bleached as you can see, which is a perfect starting point. Few things you will need for today's video is a wig cap. You wanna get one that matches your scalp color. You need a pair of scissors that are sharp. You also need some thread and also a needle to sew with. You can use a sewing needle that is for hair. Um, you will also need just some powder, loose powder that matches your scalp color and a brush like a makeup brush that you don't use anymore so the first thing we're going to do is take this wig cap and I'm going to remove the bulkiness of this cap I'm just going to start by cutting the cap straight down the middle to elongate it and make it a little bit more longer now you just want to take your scissors and remove the stretchy part of the cap. This part of the cap usually is the one that shows through the lace really badly. So you don't want that. So we're just going to cut that right on off. Okay, so let me go ahead and share details for this wig before I forget. This wig is from divaswigs.com. I chose this particular style because it is a shorter cut. It's like a bob cut and all the details I will put in the description box, but here is the full specs for the wig. It is a natural color, 14 inches in length, Brazilian virgin hair. Again, all the details will be in the description box below this video. It's going to be best to work this on a wig head. So I have a foam wig head here. What you're going to do is take that wig cap that you cut and place it over top of the front part of the lace. We're going to cover the whole front, but leave just a little bit uncovered. I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but what I'm doing here is just stretching the cap to make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to pin it with one of these wig pins to secure it for now. Stretching out that cap a little bit more, I'm going to pull it and I'm going to begin to sew that cap right on that edge, not on the lace, but right there on that edge where that comb is. Um, and the reason why I'm applying this over top of the lace is because this is going to hide those grids and act as a scalp under the wig. 
I'm also sewing it right on that little tab you can see right underneath the wig cap but I'm not sewing on the lace at all I'm doing one or two stitches and then cutting it off and moving on I'm going to also repeat the same thing on the other side make sure that when you put that wig cap to the other side you pull it a little bit tight so that it's no looseness on the cap now also make sure that the the cap that you're using is your scalp color you want to get one that's either this color or darker if you are a darker complexion I'm also just going to add a stitch right here at the top just so that it won't roll down FYI I did cut off the extra cap that I did not need so at the front what I did right on the sides of the lace is I put one stitch on each side and usually my sides don't show so it's really no big deal for me now as you can see the cap is rolling from the front we're going to fix that in just one second I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and we're going to place the cap and the wig right back on the foam head and as you can see you can see that separation there that's what you do not want so what I'm going to do is take that powder that matches my scalp color and my brush I'm going to dip my brush in a little bit of water to kind of get it nice and moist and make the pigment of the powder a little bit more intense and then I'm going to be applying the powder down the part and anywhere that the lace is going to show that separation from that cap now I know you may be wondering well how come you just didn't put on the wig cap and you know just do this on your head well the problem is uh, for most people wig caps can be uncomfortable it can be hot in the summertime so I figure doing it this way sewing it to the lace itself is going to make it a lot more breathable so you don't have to wear a wig cap under and also that elastic that we cut off when you wear a wig cap is usually hard to cover with just concealer or powder so cutting it off will make it a lot easier for you to actually blend everything so this is how it's looking so far as you can see it's covering pretty good now going back to the part where we have the cap that's rolling from the front I'm going to pull the wig cap down to the front of the lace close to the front of the cap but not all the way down because you don't want it to be too far down because then you will see a separation you want to leave just a little bit of lace I'm going to apply that glue over top and this is going to temporarily hold this in place um, I'm going to dry it with my dryer and now this gel does wash off so when you do wash your wig it will wash away now this time when I did it I was a little bit messy with the glue if you happen to have that problem as you can see it will turn a little bit white what you do is just take an alcohol pad and just get rid of that little bit of flakes that you see and then just take some more powder and cover it up now I find this method really really nice and as you can see everything just looks really good it looks so much better than it did when I first applied it again as I stated at the beginning this is a wig so it's going to look like a wig close close up and I'm using a HD camera so you will see everything but from a distance if you, no one has a magnifying glass they're not going to notice all of this but as you can see it's looking really good what I'm going to do is just play with it a little more I, I am going to go back and clean up the rest of that gel um, but right now I'm just widening and making my part a little bit longer so yeah this is the finished result this as you can see is the after and here's how it looked before I think it looks really really good very natural so if you guys found this helpful please give this video a thumbs up share it with someone and also let me know how this method turned out for you if you try it out down in the comment area I would love to hear and thank you so much for watching